Good morning, it's Mary Ellen from the channel Mary Ellen After 60, and a good friend of mine, Monica McGillicuddy, had been requested to do a video on how to deal with the peeling and flaking of Retin-A, and she asked her to tag some people, and I was one of the people that she tagged. She also tagged Marlene from Fab and Glam over 50, and, and I watched both of their videos, and they did a great job, and I will link their videos below. I really enjoy watching both of their channels, and you will probably learn, I know you'll learn something new from theirs. I'm going to start out talking about a little bit how to avoid getting a, an abundance of peeling. My history, I'll go really quickly. When I was 57 is when I started doing skincare. I used the Philosophy skincare line, uh, the Miracle Worker, and I used everything in it, and I used it until I was almost 60. No, until I was almost 61, and that's when I started using Retin-A. Since I'd used retinols for three and a half years, my skin was a little bit tougher than a lot of people's were. So I went to my doctor and I got a prescription for the 0.05%. And I started using it twice a week. I did. And I gradually worked my way up to using it six nights a week. Something I want to suggest, and you need to talk to your doctor about it, instead of going from once a week, that's what's really recommended is starting once a week. Instead of jumping from once a week, how about once every six days? Do it one one week, do it another week, the next day, next week, do it, every, do it on the sixth day and the next day and build up to having it, you know, more frequently. Right now I'd use it two nights on, one night off, but I'll get into that later. So that's something to think about. You know, don't double the amount, you know, after just a little while. The second thing that I think is important is before you are out of your, like I have some 0.05% left, and I have, of course I have my 0.1%, well, I, it took me, I think it was a year to 18 months to be able to use the 0.1%. What I did, I got a glass bottle, and, and I think it really has to be glass. I wouldn't put it in, in uh, plastic. And so in this little glass jar, I put probably three quarters of my 0.05%, and the other 25% was the 0.1 Retin-A. And I used my handy-dandy dental tool and mixed it up and wrote what it was on it. So I just kept, every time, when, when this was empty, I'd wash it. I'd increase the 0.1% until I was using it full strength. But I will tell you, even in the very beginning, it's going to be a lot worse than it is later on. I've been using it for over three years. Something that I used in the very beginning that was so helpful, and both Monica and Marlene mentioned it. It's the Squalane, and it's from Timeless. It's really the only oil I've ever used on my face, but I didn't put it all over my face. If I had a red, blotchy spot, I would just dab it in those areas. And I threw it away probably, oh, six months ago, because I, I mean, I probably only used about that much of it, but it says it was good for two years, and it, I'd had it for like two and a half years, so I pitched it. So I used that in the very beginning. I'm a big fan of the enzymatic peels. They're uh, fruit enzymes, and they're not a deep peel, but man, they can really peel the dead skin off. Uh, my favorite has been the smoothie peeling jam, and I don't know if you noticed, but kind of at the top of my, in the show more section, it I have something that says uh, what I've liked from Amazon. I still have it there because it said it may be available in December of this year, so. This is probably my favorite. I bought the pineapple, and these are all Korean, and then the Appleberry Festival Smoothie Peeling Jam, and I had another one, and I gave it to my daughter, and I'm expecting to get a lemon one that one of my uh, subscribers, Janet, recommended to me. And the reason, the only reason I have these is because I like to try them and tell them, tell you my opinion if I think they're good, but they're a real gentle exfoliant. I've used the Konjac sponge. These are hard as a rock. You can buy them with the strings 
or without the strings, but if you get them without the string in it, you need to put one in there. You have to soften it up in water for a long time, and um, and it's just a real gentle exfoliation. And my goal is never to move my skin. My goal is just to work the product. I don't have any makeup on today, so maybe some spots will fall, but just move it around my skin. I wash this really well in hot, hot water. I let it hang up to dry. And then probably maybe once a week or t every or 10 days, I'll put it in an old fashioned custard cup and cover it with water after I've washed it out well and I'll microwave it for about a minute and a half. And that seems to sanitize because there's no way we can sterilize anything. We can just sanitize it. But, oh, these are inexpensive. I'll, I'll link everything below that I can. But that's a good one. Of course, I still use my Clarisonic every two weeks. No, I don't. I use it every twice a week. I still haven't decided if it goes out, if I'll replace it or not, but it's it's still working and I still have an, another head. And I don't replace mine as quickly as they recommend because I don't use it as often. I don't press into my skin. I let the jets do the work. I'm really good about, about, about once a week I'll take the head off because I've used it just twice and I squirt, uh, put this under hot water and squirt some dial or something in there and really clean it out because if you don't, it'll get a funky smell, and I do the same with that, and you want to keep these clean. Something I also use for exfoliation, and I will do this if I'm getting ready to go someplace, I'll just, uh, before I put on my makeup, I'll look in my magnification mirror, and I can just get off a few of the flakes that way. Another thing I, another thing I use is this little silicone pad. I bought mine at Sephora. You can get them anywhere. You can get them on Amazon. But it's a real fine silicone and a little bit nubbier. And you, it, you can gently rub it on your face and it'll also help get the dead skin off. I really flake, I would say, a good flake every five to six weeks. I started derma rolling several months ago in this area right here and right here. And even, I don't put on Retin-A afterwards. I, I just put on my uh, Matrixel 3000 pat that in and then the um, it secret sauce and and I, I peel it, it it definitely promotes skin cell turnover so that's where the shaving that that area kind of comes in handy I still shave my face every other Sunday and the other Sunday I do one of my enzymatic masks I have tried every kind of razor that there is I'm on a large 10 milligrams of cumin and then that's a large dose and this is the Shiseido is the only one that has not cut me in any way and I do reuse them. I clean them with alcohol. First I'll like, get something denim or a really coarse um, washcloth and I'll go like that and then I'll clean it with alcohol, let it dry and I probably use them three or four times. I pretty well think that's my arsenal of tricks that I have up my sleeve to deal with peeling skin because it is frustrating, but I, can't, I cannot believe, I cannot believe how much better my skin is than it was even when I was 55 and now I'm 64. It's, it's better and I'm still seeing benefits and I know it's Retin-A and, and I only use a small amount. That's something that I cannot stress enough. I just use a small amount and like I said now I'm on Retin-A every I do it two nights off a night two nights so I I use Retin-A 20 times a month and I'm off Retin-A 10 times a month nothing magical it just seems that that works and I'm also I just I examine myself in my 15 times magnification floxite mirror and if I didn't have that I don't know that I could assess my skin as well as I do the 10 and 12 times magnification travel mirrors do fine, except if I put the light on, this, I don't have a light on this one. I can't see anything, but I'm just kind of spoiled on the other one. But thank you, Monica, for, for tagging me, and thank you to your viewer that requested that I do this, and I hope that uh, you found something in here that was helpful. It is all good. You guys have a great day. Thank you for your support. I appreciate each and every one of you and enjoy reading every comment. Sometimes I'm late getting back to you, but I'll get there eventually. See you in my next video. And now she's 60, but she's I, that's why I'm 
over Mary Ellen after 60, so when I'm 72, I'll still be after 70. Well, whatever. <sighs> and that helps. And I did that for a few weeks and it worked. And I probably used it 